What up, Lincoln Nation? Here with your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow, let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. Raw Palenka has ruled over the Lakers scouts to draft Jalen Hussafino over uh, Cam Whitmore. Um, reports came out uh, Lakers playing the Hawks tonight. The Lakers really, really wanted Kobe Bufkin. That was the guy they want to pick. They thought they had a, a excellent chance of getting him. And then when Kobe Bufkin um, got picked by Atlanta at 15, the Lakers were scrambling. And then um, Cam Whitmore, uh, surprisingly, he was there for the taking. And the Lakers scouts were telling uh, Rob Palenka to take um, Cam Whitmore. But Rob Palenka was concerned about his injury and uh, – the Lakers went and draft Jalen Josefino. Rob Palenka said he was comfortable after seeing um, Josefino a few times in person. But um, Cam Whitmore was pissed off because he told everybody, all teams, that he was healthy. And the thing, the problem I have, I'm not saying it's just because um, Cam Whitmore having a, a better season than Josefino because things could change. He could end up having a, a great – Josefino could end up being a better player in the long run. Who knows? I'm not saying that because of the reason. But listen what I'm saying. The problem I have with this is he had a thumb injury. It's not like he had like a heart injury or he repeatedly like year after year. Let's say his junior year in high school, he tore ACL, Right? And let's say his freshman year in college, he tore his Achilles. And let's say he ended up leaving like as a sophomore, even though he left as a freshman. But I'm just giving a scenario. Let's say he had two major injuries or three uh, major surgeries. Then I'd be like, okay, cool. Or like a heart condition. He had like a, a bad heart or something like that. Um, I can respect that more. But a thumb injury, like, come on. And Cam Whitmore said he was telling everybody, listen, man, I'm healthy. What, what What is the problem? He said he didn't understand why he slipped. He explained to everybody that he was fully healthy. And um, I said it's a thumb injury, and I don't get why the Lakers, because if you look at it, Lakers it wasn't really was going to rely on the rookie too much anyway. So how long a thumb injury? Let's say his thumb was broke. Let's just say it was broke. Let, let's say he came back in December. What difference would it make if you ain't planning on playing a, a rookie anyway and you have to go on the upside? They, Cam Whitmore was uh, 18 years old when he got drafted. They both was young guys. Both um, Cam Whitmore played one year in college. He tore it up. You got to go with, with, with that guy there. You got to go. And, and mind you, he was considered top four for the from, let's say, February, easy, before they even had the slots, before they did the lottery, he was the top top four, top five player in this draft. They've been saying this actually since maybe December. After Since December on, he'd been considered a top five player in this draft. So um, you just don't let that slip away right there. A guy top five, top four, and he come, he on your lap at 17. You don't you don't let that go, and I think the only way you let that go is a guy who you look at you like, damn, he ain't as tall, don't have no no jump out skill set. Like if you look at a guy like, damn, you know, I I in person he not that tall, like he really have no upside. A guy, let's say a guy was a senior, and they list him at six nine, but when you you know, met him in person, he's more closer to six seven and he's a power forward. A guy that's um non athletic. Then I, I, I get those concerns, but he was super athletic. Um great size for his position, six seven legit, um NBA body strong and, and and very, very aggressive. So I think that the Lakers made a mistake with that one. Um might not be no mistake in the long run, but just looking at it um, at the time, I even saying that I thought that the Lakers was going to get Whitmore once he slipped. But um, 
yeah, tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment, like, comment, share, subscribe. Go follow the Beat 139. Great uh, podcast over there. We're doing good things. Uh, support over there. Peace.